Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA The Principal Painter, and today I have a triple sneak peek for you from none other than the one with the diamond art. I got happy mail and I'm so excited to show you all three of these paintings that I got. They're not up on their website yet, but they will be shortly uh, because I'm going to be sending this video when it uploads to Kathy at the one with the diamond art and she will get these particular paintings uploaded onto their website. I can't wait to show them to you and I love them. So let's head into the painter's place and I'll show you what I got. See you in there. All right, and we are back in the painter's place. Now, since I have three paintings to show you, two of which do not have special drills in them. I'm gonna show you uh, the canvases for the first two and the third one does have special drills. So I will take the drills out and go through the whole thing on the last canvas. But the first two are what I call the Cliff's Notes version of unboxings, but you will get to see the, these beautiful canvases and the wonderful renderings on them. So these three paintings came to me from the one with the diamond art. They are a UK based uh, diamond painting company. Um, I have grown to love this company and uh, the art they provide us, wide variety. Um, they came, uh, I've already taken them out of the box, but they came in um, these boxes, actually two boxes that they taped together. These are nice sturdy boxes. They just came just like this. You can see the address on the outside and uh, they made it from the UK. Um, again, cannot say enough about the improvements that this company has made uh, and everything. So like I said, if you go look right after this video, these paintings probably will not be up on their website, but they will be getting up in the next day or so um, as, uh, as Kathy was waiting for me to show them. So they are three sneak peeks. Um, the one with the diamond art allows you to order paintings either in round or square. Uh, you can select the size that you want and they will start you off at um, a size that is going to render well. Um, they won't give you a size too small, but you can go up from that. When I order uh, from a company that does that, I very much appreciate it. And um, I always go up one size. I just, I don't know why. I just, that's just my thing. I always just kind of go up one size from recommended. Um, but you don't have to do that. In addition, I like the choices that they give as well. You can order your drills with each canvas along with the size. You can order your drills in round or square. And you have the option of ordering ABs or pearlescent drills, which are like dust drills. That's all I'll say. I don't want to mess with copyright. But um, the first two came to me um, without any special drills, which is perfectly fine because as we all know, we can bling them up with DP with sparklers if we like them. So let's get in to the first painting. The first painting is part of a Zodiac series. There have been a lot of Zodiac series that have come out um, in many diamond painting companies. I liked this one. It's different. Um, my sign is Gemini, so I got Gemini. Let me roll this baby out and show you. The renderings are just getting better and better. Um, this is a pretty big one. It's a 60 by 85, so I'm just going to kind of push it up and down so you can see the whole thing. Let me get it all enrolled here. Oops, I'm dropping toolkits and everything. All right, I'm going to put the drills in my lap for just a second. So we have got this beautiful girl. She is Gemini. She's got her Gemini si uh, symbol on her belt. Um, it's just a very different depiction of an astrological sign. Um, I like at the bottom, it has Gemini. It has um, some traits of Gemini, adaptable, outgoing, and intelligent. Woohoo! Sometimes I don't know about that about myself, but uh, I try. Anyway, um, as you all know uh, that are familiar with the one with the diamond art, um, their canvases are typically, uh, do typically have a lot of confetti uh, in them, and this one is no different. Hang on grab this toolkit that I dropped. There we go. Um, this one is no different, but there is some color blocking as well, uh, which I really, really like. So it's not total confetti, but the background, as you can see, does have a lot of confetti. Um, these are computer rendered images, um, but I have been talking with Kathy and um, they are working on doing some hand rendering as well. I love companies that just listen to their customers and improve and improve and improve. And that is exactly 
what the one with the diamond art does um, on a regular basis. I've seen it time and time again with them. So um, we're very fortunate um, that we have companies that do listen to us like the one with the diamond art. In addition, um, the one with the diamond art does legally license all of their artists. Um, sometimes the artist is not on uh, the painting, so I won't be able to tell you the artist, but all of their images are legally licensed. So this is a round kit, so it's going to be round drills. It has 50 colors in it, and like I said, it does not have any specialty drills, okay? Their canvases are very felty feeling on the back. They are poured blue canvases. You can roll them back to help them flatten out, although this one's flattening out, you know, just beautifully. Um, but that these are um, their newest Zodiac images that will be coming out. Again, I know we've got a lot of Zodiac images that have come out from a variety of companies, but I liked this one because, um, you know, again, it's, it's a little bit unique and um, like the background and, and what this represents. I, I'm going to show you the toolkit in this one, but I'm not going to show you the toolkit in the other two because they're exactly the same. Uh, and what you get in every single one with the diamond art kit. Um, I will leave them in here. You get some baggies for drill storage. Like this. I'm going to put that one back in. You get a boat with a funnel. Nice Mosfa boat with a funnel. You do get uh, washi tape in a variety of patterns and colors. And you do get a good bit of it. You can use this to section off your canvas or put around the perimeter of your canvas. Whatever you choose to do. You get a pen and a squishy for diamond painting comfort, which is nice. And you get uh, a few multi-placers. Um, this appears to be a two, a five, and maybe a seven. So I have three multi-placers. That's when you want to put more than one drill down at a time. And you can put those in the opposite end of your pen. You get a plate of wax and a container of wax. So you have plenty of wax to complete your project. This wax does have a uh, film on the top and the bottom. Peel that plastic back or you will get no wax in your pen. And you get a nice pair of metal tweezers. Now, these are scooped tweezers, so they're not pointy stabby. Um, you know, they're scooped, but I would still, uh, these can, you know, poke you, but it's not going to stab you. And I would just leave the sheath on. Uh, so uh, safety first, you know, so that is, those will be the toolkits in all three of these images. Um, I'm just going to hold these drills up so you can see the color palette. All of these drills are individually bagged. Um, you will see it with the last canvas that I open up and show you the drills on. This is a very natural color palette. In addition, in your bag of drills, you do get an inventory sheet that tells you the same information as your schematics. Your schematics are going to be on the top right, right here, uh, and it does have a thumbnail of the image on every canvas and how many colors, symbols, and DMC numbers, and on the bottom right. Uh, both sides um, of the schematics both have thumbnails, so that's very nice. But you do get an inventory sheet if you want to put this through a Xyron sticker maker to make uh, labels for your, your containers, you can do that. The first column tells you how many colors you're going to have, again, which th that is 50. The second column are your symbols, uh, which you're going to match these drills up with to put down on your canvas. Third column are your DMC numbers or DMC codes. Um, the quantity of drills in each bag and how uh, how much the bags weigh. So lots of information on there. In addition, you do have an image. I would cut this image out and that's what I'd put in my log book. So um, I'm just gonna open this up here real quick just to see if there's any other information because the artist is not listed on this canvas. Sorry, grab this real quick it on out here yeah it just has I believe it just has yep it just has the image so I am not sure of the artist on this one and it is not on here um, tour of this canvas really quickly put this back and put these drills to the side so we have some more room to talk about the canvas along with the toolkit all right uh, tour of the canvas. The top is branded with the one with the diamond art along with the size of your canvas. That's how I know I'm going to have a 60 by 85 canvas. In addition, it does have uh, the SKU number of the canvas that you can match up with your drills in case you store your drills separately from your canvas. Uh, the bottom of your canvas 
Uh, first of all, in the bottom right, it does have all of their social media information, Facebook, Instagram, and their website, the one with the diamondart.com. In addition, on the far left, you do have um, their logo and you do have the name. This is called Gemini Lux uh, Zaramoth. That might be the artist. Uh, it does have that. The copyright is in front. I believe that is the artist. Um, I believe it's pronounced Zaramoth. And it does have a copyright to let you know that artist is legally licensed. Um, the shape of the diamonds is going to be round and then your size. So um, all that helpful inf information on the canvas. But isn't she beautiful? I'm going to scoot her up so you can see the bottom just in case you can't. Can they see the whole thing? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Isn't she beautiful? And I just love this rendering. It is um, super clear. The symbols on the canvas are very clear. Um, there are, um, they're easy to read, uh, symbols on here. So, uh, I'm really excited about that. So, um, what's going to be interesting is laying drills down on the bottom for these words, adaptable, outgoing, and intelligent, uh, just to see how those render out. They, they appear to be large enough to where they're going to be easily read, but you don't know until you get drills down on them. So I'll be anxious to see how those go um, when I get drills down uh, on this canvas. But this is Gemini, um, and they do have the entire Zodiac series uh, for this particular uh, artist. So um, that is the first canvas. All right, the second canvas. I loved this one. When they were showing me some images that I could select to show you, and I do want to thank the one with the diamond art for allowing me to do this. Um, and for sending these out to me. This one I loved. Remember when you were younger and you had this vision, or I did, of coming out of a pool and flinging your hair over your head and you wanted to look a specific way? I never looked that way. I looked like a big fat wet noodle. Uh, but this girl captures the look that I wanted to look like every time I came out of a swimming pool. I wanted to look glamorous. You know, I'm a girly girl. I never looked like this, but this was my vision of what I wanted to look like. And I love this one. It is so fun. It is so beautiful. I love the expression on this girl's face. Look at this. I love it. It's called Mermaid Halley. This is artist Celine Leconte. Let me show you the canvas really quick. I'm going to put the toolkit down because it's the same toolkit as I showed you before. Look at her. Isn't that how we all want to fling our hair back when we come out of a swimming pool or out of the ocean? And she's got starfish in her hair and shells. And she just looks so glamorous and sexy and she's just you know that that is never how my hair looked uh, again I look like a big fat wet noodle but anyway <laughs> I could you know a girl can dream but don't you love this one I just love it I love all things uh sea I love all things mermaid um I'm thinking she is a mermaid um but we're not quite sure um love the color in her hair it is beautiful this is a square diamond painting. The shape of the squares, uh, the shape of the squares are your diamonds. The shape of the diamonds are square. This has 50 colors in it. Um, and again, uh, no special drills came with this particular kit. So um, I'm just going to show you this gorgeous canvas. I just love this. I just do for so many reasons. I, I love, again, the renderings are just getting better and better with the one from the diamond art. Um, I, I just can't tell you enough about, um, this particular image. I'll show you the drills in the bag so you can see, um, a couple of layers. So I'll open this up. I'm trying not to take 12 hours. I know you guys just want to see mainly the canvases, but the color palette is beautiful on this. Take a look at these gorgeous colors. I mean, the peaches and the raspberries. There's purples in here, blues, just gorgeous. Absolutely. We're going to be dealing with a lot of 3865. Look at that. White, white, white. But 
All of these drills, um, I didn't mention this uh, prior, but same thing on all three kits. All these drills are individually bagged. We have some escapees, but I'll figure that out. But um, they are numerically numbered and labeled with the DMC code. Also, they do have the SKU number of the canvas. So if one of these gets away from you or what have you, you can match up the bag of drills with the canvas, which is super helpful. So yes, 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 I love it. And um, this is uh, a perfectly square canvas. It is a 70 by 70. Um, and yes, I absolutely love it. So let me get this back in. I've seen the color palette. We will go in more depth with the drills on the last one, but I didn't want to have everyone here for 12 hours, but you get the gist of the color palette. Okay, my poor bag, my bag is kind of sticky, so it's sticking to the canvas a little bit. That's why the plastic cover's here. But again, poured glue, very nice canvases, felty feeling on the back, scalloped and surged edges to prevent fraying, and the same information on the canvas. Branded at the top, that's how you know how big your canvas is, 70 by 70. You do have a choice of sizes of canvas if you want it. Um, a little bit bigger, you can. Um, I don't know if they. If this one comes in a smaller option, but I love her so, so much. Look, she's even got her little belly button. Um, <laughs> uh, again, in the corner, this is uh, Mermaid Halley uh, by Celine Lecomte, uh, square and the size. Um, and I will be putting the names of all three of these paintings in the description box should you want to go check them out on the one with the diamond art. Oh, I just, I can't say enough about these canvases. I just love all three of them. Okay, my final canvas. I saved, oh, I'm putting stuff on here. I saved, I love all three of these, but I saved my very favorite for last. This one is my favorite. I don't know why. I, this ha this is a Paris themed painting and I don't know why it's my favorite other than if you've ever been in a moment in your life where you're peaceful and calm and just thoroughly happy, you're just fulfilled and happy and you want the moment to last forever and you don't want to ever forget it. That's what, I'm just obsessed with this painting. I just absolutely love it. So without, I'll shut up now and unroll it and show you. It is gorgeous. This is one that I will probably end up doing this year. I know I keep adding to my year stash, but look at this painting. It is a 60 by 85. I did get it a little bit bigger, but oh my goodness. All right, putting the toolkit down. All right, just take a minute to take this in. We've got our Eiffel Tower in the background. We have our beautiful profile of this girl. And she's sitting on a couch, looks to be like a hotel in Paris, looking out at the Eiffel Tower. She has her beautiful cascading hair with a little messy bun in the back. She's got her cute little boots. I love that. Over here to the right, we have our croissant. Hopefully it's a chocolate croissant. That's my favorite. I'm just gonna say that it is. Um, a couple of champagne glasses. Maybe she's waiting on her date or her, her beau to come. Um, and a bottle of champagne on ice. I'm just obsessed with this. This just makes me, every bit of it makes me so happy to look at. I just love this image so very, very much. And like I said, I have never been uh, to Paris. I've never never been to France, but it just looks like this girl is sitting in this hotel taking all of this in going, I just want this moment to last forever. It's gorgeous. Um, the curtains are perfectly, you know, um, framing the Eiffel Tower. I just I love the little pillow, just all the details in this painting. It's, it's, Again, I'm just obsessed. You know, sometimes you just love a diamond painting and you can't really put your finger on why, but you just do. And this is this is my favorite out of all three of them. This one, um, sometimes when they send me these sneak peeks, they're so new that they don't have the information on the canvases. I sometimes get kind of a prior canvas. Um, this is a round diamond painting. It does have one, two, three, four, five, a 
five ABs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna flip this one over. I will pull out all the diamonds to show you and we'll take a look at the ABs and uh, where they go. Oh, I just love this one so much, so much. Okay, let's get into this. Again, we may have some escaped drills. Sometimes that happens in shipping. And again, these are coming all the way from the UK. I do also like the fact that these bags of drills, you know, little things make a big difference to me. Um, the stick them on the uh, edge of this bag is really sticky. So um, if you seal and reseal, it's gonna seal completely. So let me get these out. I'm pulling out the ABs there. I be hopefully believe they're all together. AB, AB, AB. That's an AB. That's an AB. Okay, I've got all my ABs. Yay! All right, I'll show those to you in a minute. I'm going to make you wait. Again, lots of peaches. I'm just going to lay out the color palette for you so you can see. Labeled bags in numerical order, which I am promptly messing up. But... Um, you can just, you don't have to kit up if you don't mind um, not kidding up. Some people don't like to work out of bags. And like I always say, no wrong way to diamond paint, no wrong way to kit up. You have to do what makes you happy and what makes your crafting experience the best. So lots of colors. I'll tell you in a minute. 3371, we're going to be working with a lot of dark brown. I don't see a big bag of 310. Have we, have we pulled 310 out? I don't see. Not yet. Not yet. So, lay these out. Hopefully, everyone is having a great night. Heading into the weekend. Some people are starting spring break. Some people are ending spring break. Wouldn't it be fun to take a trip to Paris for spring break? I would love to. Marlon, hint, hint. <laughs> okay, so we do have a... a a bit of a bag of 310 so but there is your color palette for this beauty and I'll, I will now show you the ABs this inventory sheet is the same as the other ones uh, numerical drills in numerical order on the sheet so that's how I know I have 50 colors the symbols the DMC numbers uh, the quantity of drills in um, the bag and the weight. Okay, so again, you can cut this out, put it through a Xyron sticker maker, and that's what I'm cutting out and putting in my log book. All right, AB drills. We have five of them, and we have a good bit of 712. Look at those beautiful peach drills. Kara, what is an AB drill? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on the tops of these drills that captures facets of light and color from the environment and the drills around them and just makes them all together now shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer just a little bit more. And we're dealing with a lot of this beautiful peach color. Oh, I love peach so much. Um, we have a light yellow AB. We have a really bright lemon yellow AB. We have a purple or a lavender AB. And this one, oh, I love dark ABs. This is a, an extremely dark green AB. It's really like an, a dark ivy green AB. That is gorgeous. I don't know that I've worked with an AB of that color. That is beautiful. Okay. So I did order this with AB drills. And like I said, you have the choice when you order, you can order round or square, round with AB, round with pearlescent or dust diamonds. That's all I'm gonna say is dust. I'm gonna take the front end off of the dust. You, you get it. Um, and you can pick and choose what you would like, which I, I love too, because um, again, it puts the uh, cost back in the uh, hands of the consumer. So I'm gonna move this color palette over, flip the canvas back over so we can figure out where these ABs go. Oh, just like I said, this one's my favorite. I love it so much. Okay. Roll it back on itself real quick just to make sure the ends don't curl up on us when I'm trying to show you the entire thing. You can roll it back because it's poured glue and zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. That usually does the trick. 
This does have, just for reference, this does have a double piece of uh, plastic on the top of it. Uh, sometimes uh, that happens as well. Um, you know, it's not a big deal, um, you know, to me anyway. So our first AB, okay, let's look and see, because I'm just curious and I like to jump. Um, 934Z, that is an omega sign. And I am wondering where that Omega sign goes. The only criticism I have of this canvas is I wish, well, some of them are. It's interesting. Well, no, all of them. Okay, so uh, never mind. I don't have the criticism. It, it happened. On the dark colors, there are light symbols. So this Omega, it's a few sprinkled throughout her pants, which is interesting. Over here. Okay, this is where you're going to get it. That's interesting. So the champagne glasses, can they see the champagne glasses and move it up? Will that be better? Cool. On the this, on this champagne glasses, yep, that's the Omega and there's some in the champagne bottle. I figured it would be in the champagne bottle, but a few uh, in her pants. So there's not a lot of this particular color. Um, I'm looking anywhere else in the background. I don't see any more because it's a pretty telltale green color. Okay. So that's where that one goes. All right, our next one is going to be 712. Ooh, this one. We are gonna have a lot of it. And there is confetti in this, I'm just gonna tell you. There is, um, there is color blocking in the background, okay? In this big background in the back, there is color blocking, but you're gonna get, uh, the Eiffel Tower is pure confetti, I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, and obviously in the city scene down below, confetti. But this particular AB, 712Z, okay, that's a no sign. So it's this like a no smoking sign. So it's a circle with a line through it. It is throughout her shirt. Her I'll, I'll, I'll just say it's her tunic. It's all down here in the drapes of her tunic and the drapes of her arm. I don't see any in her hair. There's some uh, in her face because I'm sure, you know, Paris is a city of light, so I'm sure the light is illuminating on her face, and so there's some on her face. Um, ooh, in the curtains. Oh, this is a great effect. So, again, there's light coming through from the city of light, from Paris. So, draped down, all draped down here and here on this side is going to be this particular AB. That is going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm wondering, I'm sure there's a few in the Eiffel Tower. Uh, there's a few uh, down here in the city of Paris uh, with the lights twinkling. There's a few sprinkled throughout the background. Oh, there's a bunch down here. Okay, right in here, right around where, where the light hits the Eiffel Tower. There's a ton of it. A ton of it all uh, underneath the arches at the bottom of the Eiffel Tower and all throughout here. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Um, there's also some in the second drape of the curtains. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so pretty. And also, I missed it, the top of the couch because they're tr again, we're trying to get um, the look of the light coming through the hotel room window. And so it's all across the top of this couch. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. All right, in addition, you're gonna have some in the champagne glasses, some in the champagne bucket. Um, you're gonna have some in the croissant. So, you know, some on uh, the tray and at the edge, a, little, a few at the edge of the couch. So, um, yes, that peach is gonna be beautiful. Love that, hooray! Um, a few in her hair. Yeah, a few in her hair. So that's why we got so much of this one. Okay. Our next one is going to be 444Z, which is this bright, bright lemon yellow. And that, oh gosh. It is a circle with a line and a stick on the end of it. <laughs> I don't know what that. Anyhow, I'll just, I'll just tell you where it is. How's that? Uh, it's going to be in the croissants. Um, there's not a lot of it, and I'm looking through this confetti, but but it is in the croissants. 
I thought it might be in the champagne, the foil, you know, the foil around the top of a champagne bottle, but I haven't, I'm not seeing it. Um, any in the twinkling lights? I don't see any of it. Mm -mm. And I'm looking down here. I don't see any, I don't see any more of that particular symbol and there's really not a lot of it. So that's that. Our next symbol, our fourth symbol is 3078, 3078, which is this light, uh, creamy yellow. Again, not a lot of it. It's a, the symbol is a backward C with a line in the middle of it. Okay, so picture a C backwards with a line. So it's kind of a curved backwards E, kind of. <laughs> uh, let's see, where is that? And there's not a lot of this particular symbol either. I'm looking anywhere in here. Yep, there's some in the croissants in here. I don't see any on her. Let's see, I'm looking here. Don't see any in the sky. Are there any? Oh, yep, there's some in the lights in the city. So you're gonna have a couple of ABs really illuminating in the lit up city, which is great. And I don't see any in the curtains. And again, there's not a lot of it. So that's where the majority of that one is gonna go. And our final AB is this beautiful purple. That is 210Z, that is a Sigma uh, symbol. So it's, uh, anyway, it's a Greek letter. Um, let's see, again, not a lot of it. And I'm having to look through this confetti. So give me a second. It is a Sigma, okay. Let's look, let's look, let's look. I'm, if I'm guessing, is there any in the Eiffel Tower? No, because you wouldn't have purple in the Eiffel Tower. Where would that be? Don't tell me I've gotten to my last AB and it's going to elude me. That's all seven. I'm looking anywhere where there could be purple with my old lady eyes. Let me see. It is eluding me, I knew it would. Again, I was so good at finding the others, but oh, okay, there is some, yep, there is some in the tray with a croissant. So you're gonna get a lot of AB love in this tray of croissants and champagne. Um, I am not finding any more, but it doesn't mean there could not be more. But um, once again, there's not a lot of this particular color in this piece. So that is our last, a B but guys it's just breathtaking I just I love this piece so much so that is what I have for you so the one with the diamond art thank you so so much for sending me these canvases we've got our girl in Paris we have our mermaid who's flinging her hair back mermaid Halley and we have our zodiac sign. So that is my triple sneak peek for you tonight. Thank you once again, one with a diamond art for uh, providing us with such great artwork and uh, sending me these canvases to share with you. Go check them out. I will link their website below in the description box. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and beginning of your weekend. And I will leave you with this in a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.